Hi everybody! This video is going to be on different types of abacus. Let's get started. The first abacus that we are going to be looking about is called the Roman abacus. The Roman abacus didn't use rows and strings. Instead, the abacus was a stone table constructed with mobile stone sliding up and down. They also invented three different types of abacus. The dust abacus, the line abacus, and the grooved abacus. The Chinese swampa abacus. It is, a abac it is an abacus which has two beads at the top row and five beads in the bottom row. The Japanese Soroba Abacus. This type of abacus has one bead at the top or in the top and four beads in the bottom. The Russian Abacus. It's called the Tsuchari. It is still used in Russia. It is the abacus which is looking like the one which kindergartners or young people use. It has one special use. If you see, it has many beads in all of those rods, but it has just four beads in one rod, which is for doing fractions. The Vietnamese abacus. It has five beads in the top and five beads at the bottom. Each column represents a power of 10. This separation is still a puzzle. Least improved abacus. This was created or invented by Li Kai Cheng in Taiwan. This is a combination of the Chinese Suanpan and the Japanese Soroban. This is way better and you could also use this for doing calculations like square roots and cubic roots. Credits. You could, you could see that this was from the Ted Academy blog. I'm also going to be giving this link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye. Have a great day. I hope I will be seeing you in the next video.